Hey everyone, I am TH Pine and welcome to Herding Dog. What is Herding Dog you ask? I like to call it a run around sheeps and other animals arcade game. It's available on Steam, um, it's actually a mobile port from a game called Join the Pack though and this is what it looks like. So you're a herding dog, as the game titles, well, <laughs> lets you guess so, and you're running around animals and trying to get them uh, to to the position you want them to, like, well, not you want them to, but the game wants you to get them to. There are like circles on the ground, you will see over here. Oh, it's not over there, there it goes. Uh, in this level we have to collect three goats and three chickens. It doesn't tell us that we have to collect three chickens, we just have to capture all the goats. But, but trust me, you have to. If you don't, the game, the level will not finish for some reason. So yeah, I don't know, the goal isn't complete here. So let's get this chicken. So basically, it's, it's very simple. You run around, um, you can bark if you want. Uh, and the chicken ignores- oh, I forgot, chicken actually work different than goats. Chicken follow you, so the chicken is now following me, I can lead it to his, de his destination. Um, and uh, there we go, there we go. One from- uh, one out of three chickens, there we go. So yeah, you're herding dog. Uh, it's, well, that, that's everything I'm trying to explain more game mechanics, but that's everything. Like, that's everything the game has to offer in terms of game mechanics. Um, you're just running around animals. When, when I saw this game um, on Steam, I hoped for a little bit more complexity and for more interesting, actually herding mechanics and stuff like that. So that would be cool. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not the case. Well, if I would have known that it's a mobile pod, I probably would not have taken a look at it. Um, but yeah, there we go. Uh, here we go, because I didn't know. <laughs> because the game is called differently on mobile than it is on Steam. Anyway, so um, is, it, is it a good, good mobile port though, or is it a actually a decent game? Well, it's kind of fun. It's not terrible. The game mechanics are kind of fun. The idea is cute at least. Uh, it's pretty repetitive though, and um, pretty well, pretty plain most of the time. I think it can be a fun game for kids actually. So if you're looking for a good game for your kid to play on a mobile device, and that, that might be a decent choice. Let's get that chicken as well. Doop, follow me. There we go. Uh, but if you're looking for complex gameplay, this is probably not the right game for you. It's just running around and trying to get those animals to those circles on the ground for some reason. Um, we'll show you another level after this. No, no, what are you doing, goat? Get up, get over there. Get, no, no, get. It's not necessarily easy. There we go. Let's see if I find a third chicken, because last time I played this level, I couldn't find a third chicken. Well, actually, I could only, I couldn't find one. Um, then I could, then I found another one in the, in the river, though, and you cannot go into the water, so I could not get that. And I did not find the third one at all, so... Let's, let's hope it's different this time. Uh, last time I got stuck here, so maybe this happens again. Well, besides the game being very simple, though, um, there are other issues with it. Like, the, the menu, the UI is terrible. You see those purple blobs um, on the corners of the screen and at the bottom? Um, yeah, I will show you more of that in a moment. Uh, it looks really, really terrible from time to time. Um, so, there's that as well. Where's the last chicken? And that's, that's the other issue. Sometimes, apparently, the levels are just not completable. Where's the chicken over here? No, there's no chicken here. I would run around more, but I'm pretty sure the chicken is just missing, like last time. At least none chick no chicken was in the water this time, so I could at least get two. But that's still not enough to finish the level, even though the goal just tells me to get the goats and not to get the chickens. But there's that. Um, I will try to find it a little bit more, but maybe I'm just missing it. It, it. it might be the case. I mean, the level is fairly big, but it's not too huge either. Especially the arrow is not helping. Well, let's check if it's helping. Last time it was not. Last time it uh, it, it directed me to the goats, um, and I was looking for a chicken. I think it does so again. Yeah. So, thanks, arrow. <laughs> You're not useful at all. I don't know. I guess we have to leave that. Out. Oh, there we go. I actually can't finish it. Cool. Follow me, chicken. So this time it's not broken. That's a plus. That's a plus. Uh, before we leave the level, though, uh, let me show you a little bit more from the menu. Um, so there, there are different menus here. Uh, it's quite obviously designed for mobile, for a touchscreen, and for some reason the color and the design looks horrible. Why would you pick purple? I don't know. And uh, it's really like, it looks really, really. I don't know. I'm not a designer, I could not tell you why it looks bad, I can just tell you that it looks terrible. So here we have uh, high scores for this level, it doesn't seem to save them though, because I did beat- Oh no, I did not beat this level before, right, because I could not, because I got stuck. Um, so you see the high score for this level, um, then you can see um, 
your progress in this run so far. So we got five out of six elements, so that's good. I'm not sure what those bars down here are trying to show me. I have no idea. This seems like five out of six, but what are those? I have no idea. Um, then you have this one, which tells you things about animals you find so far or you encountered so far. Um, not super, not super in detail or anything, but it gives you a decent idea. Like the chicken is following you, and most of the others are just running away from you. Uh, for some reason, it always shows the number here. Like it looks like you have eight new, eight new messages or eight new notifications, but it actually is just the total number of notifications. They never go away. You cannot read them. Oh, you can read them. Oh, ha, never mind. Never mind. You can read them. So now it goes down. No, it doesn't. Okay, <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> and there's weather as well. And every time, <clears throat> sorry, every time you open this up, there comes this message that tells you that animals are apparently affected by weather. I did not have anything besides warm though so far though, so I could not tell you what the effect is. Maybe in later levels. And uh, you can hide this menu. Then you can show the goal up here. And then is then you have this pause menu, uh, which has actually three different sound sliders, which is good. I will go more about options later though, um, because I will show you the rest of the option menu, which is for some reason at a different part of the game. Um, you can go back to the menu or resume. You can you have some zoom here. You can control that with the mouse wheel as well. It's not much though, um, not that you need to. Then there is uh, the selfie option. You can press this button to take a selfie of your dog. Uh, I have no idea where it saves it. This, look, this looks horrible though because of the chicken clipping into into the dog. Uh, for some reason, if you take a look now, like uh, take a look at the field of view, the horizontal field of view of this picture, so how tall the dog is uh, in this picture basically, and now we take the selfie and it changes. Did you see it? Like, let's do it again. Like, the, it's just a smaller FOV like this and a bigger one like this. That's really. Wait, this is. Uh, I don't know, it might be the FOV. It's a little weird at least. The perspective is, is off and then there's this button. I have no idea what it does. I've I've no idea It just flips and I don't know. It looks like a like a joystick. I Couldn't tell you what it does. I've no idea and the game doesn't tell you so yeah As I said, I don't know where those pictures are saved I assume somewhere in the game folder maybe or in my pictures or I don't know somewhere Doesn't tell you so um, let's actually finish this level and go to the world map Yay! Klappa klappa, more terrible UI design stuff. <laughs> uh, you get some stats at the end of the level. We got a B plus. Okay, that's actually decent. You go to the next level. Well, we don't. We go to the world map. Um, the world map looks like this, and you basically have those level things. I actually didn't want to go to the next level. Um, you control the dog by by pressing those arrows down here. They're not like this is not the next level button and this is not the previous level button. That's going to the right and go to the left, which can be a little confusing. That, what? What? This time it's not okay. There's there are some really unnecessary long walks between those sometimes though. That was pretty quick, but this one is fairly long. For example, this takes a few seconds. Okay, if I press left now, yeah, no, that, now it works. Yesterday it didn't. Maybe they fixed it overnight. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they fixed it. Okay, it's working now. Great. So right is the next level and left is the previous level. Uh, I wanted to show you the level bef uh, six though. So let's go there um, and do that because there's some other stuff I didn't show you yet. Uh, so let's go in there. There are wolves and UFOs. I have no idea what UFOs do, but they are there. Um, and there are wolves. The wolves tr will try to kill the the other animals the sheeps in this level and um, You have to get them to, to scare them away But basically you do the same as with the other animals you get them to their circle. There we go one wolf captured Where's the other wolf? I have no idea, but it probably kills my there we go. It killed one of the sheeps already And it probably kills the other one as well if it didn't already did I'm Not sure There we go Found him. Okay, let's get the, this dog over here you can bark at him. Not that sheep died, but that, that's not to the wolf's fault though. Maybe maybe it is the UFO. I suspected that earlier. Maybe the UFOs try to steal your sheep. That, that could be a thing. Uh, where's the... Where's the circle again? There we, no, that's the wrong one. I think the wolf is over there. I hope I'm not messing this up. Let's... Yeah, there it is. Come back here, wolf. No, where are you going? Ah, oh, goddammit. Yeah, you see how this goes. 
let's get this wolf back and then we... <laughs> Actually, let's finish this level. It should not be too much longer. We have to get the wolf and then the sheep. So yeah, as I said earlier, I hoped for a little bit more complex game mechanics and more herding stuff because I like the idea. Like, it would be cool to have a proper herding simulator, basically, where you're a herding dog and have to try to, to keep the flock together and make sure no sheep gets away and scare the wolves off that um, attack your, your herd and, I don't know, get, get your herd from point A to point B or something. So that would be cool, but unfortunately the game is not that. Uh, can we get up there? Uh, oh, we can glitch you up there. Uh, I guess not. The animations are pretty simple. Um, sometimes they glitch out, like you clip through stuff and, uh, and things like that. Uh, the, the graphics are, I don't know, I like the, I kind of like the art style. Like the idea is cool with the big polygons and stuff. Like they could be a little small. I guess it's better on a smaller screen if you play on mobile. However, the, like the, the texture quality could be a little bit more detailed, so... We have that, but I, it's, I don't dislike the art style, it's kind of cute. As I said, the game could be fun for games, uh, for games, for kids, I guess. Um, can we play it? It's not, no, actually, why did I, what? Oh, I killed the game. Sorry, my bad, let's restart. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. But that's a way to get to the back, back to the main menu as well, so uh, we're back. So that's where I wanted to go. <laughs> um, so uh, this is the start screen main menu, basically, you can go already go, this is actually doing the same, no, this is actually leaving the game, let's not press that again. Uh, just leaving the game, that starts the game, and we have this, well, option menu, quote-unquote, over here. So what is this? This is, part of this is the option menu, but it's not only the option menu, this is the, the tutorial, well, tutorial, quote-unquote, again, uh, it's like three help messages, tap the ground, uh, follow the arrow, bark at animals. Um, then there's the option menu with language settings. You can make the details even lower than that. That might make sense on a mobile device, but yeah. And you can mute the sounds entirely. I have no idea why the separate sound sliders are in a completely different screen you cannot access from here. You, you can only do it from in the level. That makes no sense whatsoever. Um, then, and then there here is the, the uh, what's it called? Not disclaimer. Uh, the credits are here as well. And yeah. There's that. So, uh, you know, it's a little weird. Um, there are no resolution options whatsoever. The game just runs in full screen on whatever your monitor is able to handle. And, um, yeah, that's that. So, I got a little disappointed. I don't think it's a terrible game. It's fairly cheap as well. It's uh, three bucks on uh, on mobile and on Steam, I think. Um, it's, it's three euros and three dollars, though. So, there's no conversion there, which is a little sad. But that seems to be very common these days, which is very unfortunate for us Europeans. But there are others who are even uh, in an even worse world than that, like the Australians and the, the British guys are, have problems with that as well. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's Herding Dog. It's it's kind of fun, it's a cute idea. It could have been way more. I hoped it, I expected to be to have more, so I cannot really recommend it, but maybe you like it anyway. Um, I, I guess I showed you enough to make that decision on your own. I'm TH Pine, thanks a lot for watching. If you liked or disliked the video, feel free to click the like or dislike button below, and um, see you next time.